several people known me in one episode. Others say I am lazy. They are right. I am what they call me. But why don't I appear in any more episodes? Did I have an accident and have to be fixed? Did I be too lazy and so Top Matt sent me away as punishment? Those are not the cases. I am Dennis, the lazy diesel engine, and now I'm going to tell you the real reason why I never appear in any other episodes. I was built in 1949 as a prototype bullied diesel engine who worked for over fi seven years on my railway. That is, until my railway was shut down and I had to be put in a shed for over two months. While I was inside the shed, something in my mind told me that I was not really useful, but I should sleep on it. When I woke, I saw my driver and my fireman in front of me. They told me that another railway bought me and wanted me to work, but I refused the offer. My driver and fireman said the another railway rather uh, buy me instead. I didn't want to refuse a second uh, time, so I took it. Little did I know what my journey would be on in the new railway. The railway that I was going to be working at was the Northwestern Railway. The big man was for Topham Hatt, but everyone in the UK called him the Fat Controller. I was stationed at Brightingdale Sheds, where other engines slept. My sheds, my shed mates, were nice, but had problems on their own. Billy was an orange steam engine who did not like being told what to do. Whiff was a stinky green engine who wore contact lens. Neville was a black tender engine who was, all, who was often mistaken for a diesel. And lastly was Hank, who was an American engine that was the largest one on Sodor. We all didn't work that much because the Fat Controller had more engines that did several jobs. Sometimes we went out of our sheds to do some shunting. But that was it. I thought everything on Sodor that I was going to see would be pleasant. Turns out, I would be wrong. One night, I had to take a goods train. Billy and Neville also had to take a goods train. We went over our separate ways, and were off. Neville pulled his train, while Billy was his back engine. I had no back engine, except a useless brake van. The trucks all behaved themselves along the ride. Soon I delivered all my goods, but little did I know that my night was not yet over. On my way home, Billy came out of nowhere on a separate track. At first, I thought he was done with his job until I saw the panic look on his face. I asked him what was wrong and he told me why he looked scared. He was still being Neville's back engine until I had noticed Neville was speeding up. He told him to slow down, but he soon discovered that Neville wasn't the cause for going fast. The trucks were pushing him. Billy pulled back, but his coupling snapped and Neville and the trucks disappeared into the fog. After telling the story, Billy whooshed away to find Neville. I followed behind and I soon began to pick up the pace. That's when I saw Neville right in front of Billy. He had come from a junction, and Billy was trying to hook up to the trucks. I wanted to help, but I couldn't since I was on the other track. Then I saw it. A boarded up mine was in the distance. I stopped and called out to Neville to put his brakes. Billy put his on before I knew it. The trucks pushed Neville into the mine. A loud, horrific scream was the last thing that Billy and I 
had heard from Neville that night. The next day, Workman went into the mine to look for Neville. All he found in Neville was his destroyed remains. I knew that Billy wasn't the one to blame, despite his coupling had snapped. It was the evil trucks who had pushed Neville into his sad demise. As for the trucks, they got what they had deserved, but they were also destroyed. Every night ever since, the night Neville was murdered by the trucks, I stayed awake wondering if it will happen or not happen again. Years passed, and soon my shed mates started to disappear. With was restored and continued to work on the Fat Controller's Railway. Hank had to be sold back to America since he felt homesick. I thought at first that Hank was going to enjoy being back home. That is what I thought until the manager told me a few months later that while back home, Hank had derailed and crashed into a building. The big engine was sadly scrapped after failed attempts to restore him. Now, only Billy and I were the engines in Brightingdale shed that, that stayed. Although Whiff was restored, the Fat Controller decided to do something about Billy. He took him to the steamworks to be refurbished, and a few weeks later, he came out looking different. He had been repainted purple and was renamed Charlie. Two years later, the same thing happened to me, except my name was Norman instead of Dennis. Now I had orange, black, and yellow de decorations. I soon lived a new kind of life, and was used more often. Even though I may seem cheerful, there's still one thing that keeps me worried. Every time I pass that old mine, I hear screams for help and creepy moans. <laughs> 